this is the baggage control room for terminal three baggage handling system. What you can see behind me is the SCADA wall, which depicts the baggage system. The different colors that you can see on the wall depict whether the system, uh, the lines are live, whether they've stopped, whether there's a fault, whether they're busy. So the guys who are working behind me, they are constantly monitoring the, the SCADA wall behind us. And from there, they can make decisions on how best to manage the baggage operation and the baggage system. Here in Terminal 3, we handle, we're handling approximately about 110,000 bags every single day. That would equate to in our busy peak, our five hour peak, about 45,000 bags. And in a single hour, we're doing up to 12 and a half, 13,000 bags. Terminal 1, we're doing across a day, we're probably doing about 30, between 30 and 32,000 bags. And Terminal 2, up to about 28,000 bags in a single day. As the passenger checks in, they're given their seat number, baggage tags are produced, and then the check-in agent tags the bags and places those two small little identifying uh, uh, peel-off tags on there as well. And then the bag is transported through the system using the information contained in the barcode. We're going to go into the area where the bags come from checking and they move from conveyors onto the into the tub tray system. We are currently underneath the Terminal 3 check-in area. As we accept bags from check-in or wherever else we accept bags into the baggage system, all bags that transit through the system are 100% security screens. As the bags come down from check-in, they pass from the conveyor belts onto the tubs. The tubs are uh, tracked throughout the system and the bags are delivered either to the makeup area or into the early bag store. Each tray has got a unique identifier and is continuous, continuously tracked by the uh, computer so we know where the tray is at all times. We also know what bag is on the tray or if there's a bag on the tray. So we use that information to make sure that the bags are always delivered to the right location. There is approximately 16 to 17,000 of these yellow trays. Even though the baggage system is massive, it takes on average about 20 minutes for a bag to enter the system and be discharged at the correct uh, location. Behind me is a quite a unique feature of the Terminal 3 baggage handling system. This is our dynamic early bag store. Each of these bags are waiting for the flights to open. We have the capacity for four to 5,000 bags to be held here until their flight is open and the bags are discharged to the correct area. we have one of our static early bag stores. We have the capacity for around about 15,000 bags to store early in the terminal free baggage system. The orange motors behind me power the system. There's approximately 28,000 of these units in the terminal free baggage system. We've seen the bags being injected into the system. We've seen the bags being processed through the system and this is where they're discharged onto the makeup carousels to be loaded into, into the ULDs to be placed onto the aircraft. He scans the barcode again to make sure it's going on the right flight and then he loads it into the container. And that's the baggage journey done. Most airlines will close their check-in for passengers with bags at minus 60 minutes. It doesn't always take 60 minutes for the bags to transport for, uh, through the system, but I would say to most passengers, why risk it? Why not get there a little bit early to make sure that you and your bag travel on the same flight? Regular shaped bags cause us problems because they are, tend to either get stuck in the baggage system or they may fall from the baggage system or they get jammed. So if, they, if individuals, passengers still turn up with irregular shaped bags, they either have to repack into a box that we can take into the baggage system or the, then that item has to be traveled, uh, transported as outer gauge or as a non-conveyable bag.